All right, good evening. Uh, doing this uh, video before I go to bed tonight. So, I was thinking, um, what would someone do if they don't carry a firearm and they do drive away? How will they defend themselves in case something, you know, goes bad, goes awry? They need a weapon of some sort. I believe that everybody should be armed in one way or another and um, I thought man I'm gonna show them uh, four or five weapons that I carry uh, every day in my tow vehicle that they really don't even look like weapons but I mean if it comes down to it it'll uh, be a weapon real quick um, let's see here well we'll start out with my favorite of all time is my baseball bat I always carry an aluminum baseball bat has grip tape on the handle so if you get to uh, using the, the, the bat <clears throat> it won't fly out of your hand if you're sitting there chopping wood on somebody and uh, I like aluminum because it doesn't break um, you know you could snap a bat over someone's head or whatever aluminum's it's gonna it's gonna bend a little bit but I doubt it'll break with you just beating them to an inch away from their life um, let's see <clears throat> here's another one nice little sledgehammer this one right here is a two pounder it's real good for breaking bones um, breaking arms cracking skulls excellent for that uh, what else well you know if you don't have one of those everybody has one of these just your uh, average claw hammer and you can use it like that use it like that Excellent. Lightweight, 13 ounces. Cheap. Everybody probably has one at their house. Carry that. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Now, if you ride uh, Greyhound and and you fly and everything, this would be good to put like in your luggage under the plane, or or just you know you can carry it on the bus because they're psychos and shit on the bus and losers and ex-convicts and I ain't judging nobody I mean everybody has to get around somehow but if you're trying to protect yourself you need to carry something a good old-fashioned screwdriver is great you start sticking somebody 14 15 times it's definitely gonna put the hurt on them and uh, slow them down a lot and most likely uh, you're gonna win you know and uh, they definitely will be deflated and plus you know craftsman lifetime guarantee Let's see what else oh yeah right here always carry a knife this one this particular knife right here is a Gerber um, this knife here I don't really consider it as a weapon. It's uh, a knife that I carry. It's more of a tool to me than anything. I mean, just the sound of it coming out, it sounds, you know, scary. Woo! <laughs> so, <clears throat> one of my favorite things that I always carry, and I always tell the kids to carry this, is uh, wasp and hornet spray. You're probably thinking, what the hell are you going to do with that? Well, instead of mace, you know, mace is expensive. And you can just get a little bottle of it. This thing right here is 20 ounces of pure hell. You get hit in the eyes, nose, and mouth with this crap. You're going to go to the hospital, and you're going to have to have the hospital help you out. Get that stuff out of your eyes. Because it can cause uh, blindness. 
And not only that, if you could see on this <coughs> this can, 27 feet. So, these dudes don't even have to be very close to you, and you just hose them down with this. You can, you can get them from 27 feet away. I mean, this is a... This is better than mace. I mean, it's a little bulky to put on a keychain, but shit, man. Carry that in your, in your to-go bag or whatever you want to do. Let's see what else. I think that's about it. But I'll tell you what. This aluminum bat saved the day for me one day. Uh, bars let out and... Um, I was doing a truck coming out of Kansas City, and it was a show truck. It was a cabin chassis. My hitch, I thought, had slipped a little bit, so I pulled over to check it, and sure enough, I had a couple bolts loose. So, basically, I started uh, bolting that thing back. Bars let out. These guys drove by. They came by again. I saw them with no headlights on. I'm like, oh, no. So I jumped in my vehicle. And I grabbed my baseball bat and I started swinging it around like a, a maniac. And uh, they didn't mess with me. They just went on. They're like, that guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. And um, the reason I'm putting this out here is because a lot of times, I mean, it's legal to carry a firearm in a commercial vehicle. But, I mean, if you don't have the option of doing something like that... Um, you got to kind of think outside the box and and do something different. I mean, this is this is a great way. I mean, you don't have to do exactly what I do. I mean, I have things in my tow vehicle I'm not even going to tell you about that I carry. And I mean, this is just some things that, you know, just within arm reach I could grab and just start beating the hell out of somebody if I need to or launch it at their vehicle and bust out their windshield, you know. But just the other day, I had a guy, he took and um, had road rage because I was pulling out onto the highway and I had an automatic truck. And everybody knows that anybody that's drove a, a international that's automatic, they're slow getting up to speed. And the thing was slow getting up to speed. He got mad and just flipped out on me, slamming his brakes on, doing all this crazy stuff. Well, you know... The guy doesn't realize one of the things in my arsenal is literally the truck. And at one time, I thought he had a gun and he was going to get out with a gun. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to run this guy over. And I would have had to run him over with the truck. And I would have killed him with the truck if he would have pointed a gun at me. And people don't realize that these trucks that we drive every day doing driveway can be used as a weapon i mean there's you another weapon so um just today i came across a guy at taco bell and the guy uh was nuts i mean he was crazy psycho he was sitting there talking to his phone there was no one on the phone, and it wasn't even in the mode of talking to someone on the phone. And then he was saying all this racial stuff about a nice guy, and man, I couldn't get involved in something like that. And finally the, the nice guy left, and he was saying all this racial stuff, and it's upsetting. I mean, and I try not to put myself in situations to where I get in trouble or have to use violence and and everything um i try to try not to put myself in those situations or stay out of it you know i travel at certain times and i do certain things and and you know actually i'm still alive because i'm making this video so i'm definitely doing something right and another thing you know just because you think that an area is safe it may not be safe it might not be safe at all and just because in your neighborhood you think your neighborhood's safe and all these other neighborhoods that you drive through are safe just because your neighborhood's safe and it looks similar. No. Just because 
you think something, it's not like that everywhere, all over the United States. I mean, a lot of places that we drive through look similar, but the safety factor is not the same. I mean, it could be safe in one place, you drive down the street 15 minutes, it's not safe, it's Crackheadville, or you could take and drive 15 minutes north, and then it's the worst city in the United States. You don't know where you're going because you've never been there before. That's how drive away is. So I would advise each person to carry a weapon of some sort and be prepared to use said weapon at any time on any one. And another thing is, check this out, look at this. See this? That's my money. It's in my left pocket. Look at this. Anytime I pay for food or anything, I pull my wallet out. Look how much money I have in my wallet. I got about $22. Look over here. Left pocket that no one sees. I got about $500. So, that's another thing. Never let anyone see what you have your money and don't give people change fuck them people they could go over to mcdonald's and buy a damn cheeseburger and get some change because what the, a lot of people do i found is they're like oh well i need some change and all i have is, is a five well then when you open up your wallet they see how much money you have and then they line you up to rob you i've seen that at a greyhound in uh, uh denver colorado I had to teach an older guy not to do that because the guy was going to rob him. And so there's so many people out there running scams and trying to rob you, steal from you. You just got to have your head on swivel at all times. And you see me looking around just making this video. I'm going to look around because I'm looking, I'm assessing everything right and left. I look right and left constantly. You got to do that because you don't know where you're at. You don't know if somebody's going to come up there and try to rob you or break into your tow vehicle because they see some tools in there. Stay on your toes. Have a weapon. Carry a knife. If you want to carry a gun, that's on you. But I'm going to warn you that just because you're a law-abiding citizen and you do everything you're supposed to do with your firearm and you're following the rules doesn't mean that you're not going to get arrested. You're not going to get arrested over here. Well, you could get by with it over there. But if you go over here, this officer, he may not follow the rules and he's going to arrest you. Get on YouTube. You can sit there, watch videos all day long about false arrest and everything. I mean, they're not making that stuff up. You can set right there a live video of uh, of him pulling a, a black guy over and then racial profiling him. He goes to jail. I mean, it's right there on video. The dude's not making it up. I mean, damn. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this off now. So you guys be safe. Keep the left door shut. Make that money. Get you a damn weapon.